in the beginning of the game they were kind of up on us. We come back, but I think for the most part we were we were down. We were to fight back the entire game. But you know, once we get going, you know, can't stop. Phil had an eight pointer, which you know got us close. Nimble Jacks came back with a quick four, so we were down again. Our team never gives up, so we fight to last second, which you know resulted in the tie, and then to the shootout, which is you know high pressure situation all the time. Ball goes in, it's my fault. You know, at the end of the game, all the pressure's on me. And uh, I mean, defensive wise, our guys can do you know the best they can, but my job is just to save goals. Um, you know, if I let them in, they got to try to make up for my loss and come back. What was pretty interesting about this game was we only had two of our starting four wedgebacks, which was Clouser and Glenzy. The other two were Phil and uh, Matt Thornton, who had never played, I, I don't think Matt Thornton ever played wedgeback in Cronum. So that was pretty interesting, but I, I think they both did a, a really good job. And then all around, all of our wedgebacks, you know, really did well. We're developing like this mold within our team and uh, I think we have this mentality where it doesn't matter you know where in the game we are or what the scenario is we always know that we have a chance to come back and win you know that's sort of been the theme with all of our games I mean the point margin for each of our game it's like 0.5 or something at this point I mean each and every one of our games has been you know we we're grinding out until the end and uh, you know luckily we've been able to win a couple of those games <laughs> For my first shot, uh, I shot it, I just wanted to put it on goal, and uh, I was actually facing Pete Weiss, who I went to high school and played soccer with for years, and uh, he stopped the first one, I put it you know, right at him, and then I said, you know what, for the second shot, I wanted to go top right, and I sort of shanked it, and then on the third one, you know, my adrenaline was pumping, and I sort of had to take a moment there before I shot, and just, you know, pause for a second, you know, collect my thoughts, and then I just drilled it. And uh, really, I was just trying to put it on the frame, but it found the ring. It felt great coming off my foot. And uh, I mean, when it went through the ring, I mean, <laughs> didn't expect it, but uh, I mean, it was pretty awesome. It was a great feeling. And especially, you know, for the win, it was, it was awesome.